Rob Julie, as you mentioned, the shooting happened right here near West Roads Mall, leading to at least three different scenes and a puzzle for police to figure out. After 40 years living here, this is a first for Doug Little. We've never had anything like this happen in the neighborhood. Little heard a police cruiser come around the corner by his home Monday afternoon, then stop. He came out of his backyard to find police at his neighbor's house and walked down to see what was going on. And I was there at the car, so the car was full of bullet holes. These two young girls uh, got out of the car. They were fine. The two guys, one was in the rescue squad and one was on the ground, and they took him to Little's neighborhood just blocks north of West Roads Mall, where police say someone shot at the red vehicle on the mall's west side. Police scanner traffic indicating witnesses saw a black SUV firing at the red car as the vehicles looped around West Roads. On the mall's north side in front of Von Mar, the crime lab investigating the spot where a gun was found. Police piecing together exactly what happened. They're still actually trying to uh, locate where it started and where it actually uh, ended. The victims ending up in Little's neighborhood looking for help from strangers. I'm just happy that, that there are people here who can respond and, and help people that need help when they need it. And again, police do not have any suspects in custody at this time. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Alexandra Stone, KETV News Watch 7.